I have a long piece of rope, I have a medium sized piece of rope, and I have a short little piece of rope. Now I am a magician and that means you don't trust me. So I'm going to let you look at the ropes to make sure they're okay. You sir, take the long one for me, okay? Give it a good tug, make sure it doesn't break apart. No snaps, no holes, no magnets, no trap doors, nothing weird or unusual. You have a very trustworthy face. You get the short piece. <laughs> Give it a good stretch. Make sure it doesn't stretch like a rubber band. Just make sure it's an ordinary short piece of rope. And you, ma'am, you get the medium-sized piece. Give it a good check over. Make sure that ordinary, regular, normal pieces of rope, like you keep in your basement or your garage, you know, the kind you tie up your brothers and sisters with. <laughs> How's that one look? Pretty good? All right, I'll take it back. Thank you for inspecting it. No holes, no magnets, no zippers, no nothing? Okay, good. How's the short piece? It doesn't stretch? Good, I'll take it back. Thank you very much. And my medium-sized piece, does it look okay to you? Good, throw it back. Whoa. <laughs> Trying to trick the magician, are you? Pretty good, okay. All right, here's the fun part. This is where we're going to do that illusion thing. That thing where I cause you to see something that's not really happening. I'm going to make each of these ropes look like they're exactly the same size. Watch, I'll snap my fingers just like this. And they're exactly the same size. Pretty cool, huh? Well, you have to use some imagination. Actually, you have to use a lot of imagination. So let me help you out. If I wiggle the ropes, use your imagination, it almost looks like the ropes are just about the same size. You see, I have one, I have two, I have three, and they're all pretty close to the same size. Now, they do get tangled around, and it's hard to tell them apart. So let me do this. I'm going to take this one here and put it into my pocket. That leaves me with how many pieces here in my hand? Exactly, one long piece of rope right there. Wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. Well, don't worry, it's summer. We don't have math class today. But this is cool because this is weird about the ropes. I can take a piece of rope like this one, and every rope has some things in common. Two ends and one middle. But if the middle goes to the ends, weird stuff happens. Watch. I'll throw the middle in the air. I'll catch it right out of the air. And the ends can't stay there because they have to run away from the middle up over my shoulder and pop out the other side. The other one goes, woohoo! Kind of tickles when it runs. But that's all right. You see, the middle and the ends cannot stay at the same place. Now make sure if you try to do this at home that you do get a good quality piece of rope because if it's just a piece of junk or a piece of scrap, well, what happens is the ends will actually pop right off the rope. When that happens, that's okay. Just go ahead and put them right back on. Not a big deal, okay? Just get a good quality piece of rope. That won't really happen, all right? That's just stop it, knock it off. All right, let me just go ahead. I'm going to tuck those into my pocket. We'll just go on with the middle section of the rope, and we can um, just, um, okay, that's not going to last for it. Let's just go ahead and throw those right back on. And guys, I'm going to tell you how this all happens. It works with static electricity. Some static electricity. Watch very closely, just like this. Okay, I'm gonna need some static. Maybe some static from you, thank you very much. Some static from you, thank you very much. Some static. Ugh, sweaty, aren't you? <laughs> That's okay, we like sweat. That's all right, we just like this and bzz, bzz, bzz. Okay, maybe a little too much sweat got in there. No problem, we just, bzz. oh, there we go. Per of course, now I lost my ends again. Uh, which is a good thing I have an extra set right here in my pocket. I'll pop those babies back on, and just like this, it's time for everybody's favorite part of the trick, the end. You, sir, the one that's not paying attention. <laughs> Help me out, will you? You're going to cut the rope right here in the middle, okay? So get out your scissors. Yes, you do. Two fingers. Make two. Make perfect. Just like that. Go ahead and cut the rope right here in the Just reach a little higher. And don't go stabbing anybody with those things, okay? Just reach nice and high. We're going to cut the rope right there in the middle. Thank you very much. Cut the rope right there in the middle. That's pretty cool. I'll add the third piece from my pocket. And guys, are these the very same three pieces of rope I passed out for your inspection just a minute ago? Yes. Ah, yes, no, maybe so. Okay, at least you're still awake. Actually, uh, these are not the same because remember, this is just an illusion. I didn't start out with three equal pieces and I don't have those at all. Watch. I really have one long piece of rope right there, one medium piece right there, one short little piece right there. Ladies and gentlemen, that's an illusion. That's what I do. Thank you very, very much.